Favor comes to us by grace through faith. We are saved by grace through faith, not of our efforts. Let no man boast about it. Ephesians 2 verse 8 to 9 Grace simply means unmerited favor. Unmerited means it's not a product of your efforts or obedience. We receive God's favor by believing in Christ Jesus. The day you believed in Christ, you became a candidate of God's unending favor. The unfortunate thing is a lot of Christians do not realize that they are practically favored by God. They still go about crying to God to favor them. They still keep praying and fasting for God's favor. Don't get me wrong. It is good to pray and fast, but favor is a product of faith and not of works. You must be conscious of the fact that God sees you as his favored child. He has showered you with his divine favor because of Jesus Christ. Believe this and you shall see his favor always in your life. My prayer for you today is that as you believe the words and pray the prayers for divine favor, God's favor would always be visible in your life in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you that I am your child and that you love to give me wonderful gifts. Because I am in Christ, I am part of your family. As one of your family members, I know I am loved by you. Please fill me with the Holy Spirit today. Please give me the blessings of filling your presence. I come to you humbly knowing you are God and that I am your beloved child. I thank you for all the blessings you have abundantly poured upon me. You are always good and always do good to me. Even if I receive another blessing, I would have received so much more than I deserve. And yet, your word tells me that I am to regularly ask for your blessing. Your word commands to lead a prayer of favor to you, my gracious good Father, to pour out your blessings upon me. So I come to you boldly with confidence, knowing you would delight to bless me. You have promised and you will never stop doing me good. You have promised you won't withhold any good from me. And so I ask you to pour out your favor upon me. Bless me in all ways I wouldn't even think to ask. I need you more than life itself. Would you please give me more of yourself, more of your love, more of your grace. I want to know you more which is the greatest blessing of all. I also ask you will provide all my physical needs. You have promised that you will meet all my needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. I thank you that you are going to pour out your richest blessings upon me. I trust you to bless me in an overwhelming way. You are my shield, who bestows favor and honor. You don't hold back. You don't withhold any good gifts from those who you love. I love you, and I'm eager to see all the ways you are going to bless me. The biggest blessing of all is your presence. So that's what I ask for the most. Thank you, Lord, for your glorious favor upon my life. I thank you that you love to bless me and will bless me. I ask all these things in the name of Jesus, my only righteousness, in his name. Amen. Business is something that is painful, 
and often comes upon people as a result of unfair treatment, unjust means, or the perception of feeling mistreated. It constructs itself upon the pillars of unforgiveness and resentment. Most people, if not all, have or will experience some form of bitterness in their lifetime. Whether it is a mild case of bitterness, measuring to a severe case, the results of unfair treatment have left a bitter taste upon our lips. The key is having the ability to process through the bitterness and obtain genuine deliverance. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I present myself before you and I am completely humble and submit myself before you. I ask that you will begin to expose every root of bitterness that is operating and hidden in my life. I pray that the Holy Spirit will arise on my behalf and begin to approach precisely every form of bitterness lodged in my life. Father, I choose to forgive those who have hurt and mistreated me. Lord, I ask that you heal my soul and completely renew my emotions. I repent to you, Father, and confess my sins of rebellion that I have committed. I ask for forgiveness for holding on to grudges and bitterness. Lord, cleanse my heart and my mind. Provide me with the strength and grace to fully obey your word. I choose to fall out of agreement with any symptom and past experiences that generated bitterness. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I break and renounce all ungodly soul ties from past relationships and experiences. I cast out all spirit of heart and deep hurt out of my life as a result of past and present relationships. Father, I ask that you free me from any fear, torment, or intimidation from past or present relationships. Lord, I pray that your angels will be released to war on my behalf. I bind up all forms of witchcraft and mind control that work to undermine my soul. I bind spirit of chronic contention and pride. I pray to the Lord that this spirit completely sees its operations in my life. I pray that the angels of the Lord will be activated to arrest spirit of confusion, depression, and anger, every form of resentment and lust for revenge. Lord, I ask that you release clarity and the ability to effectively stabilize my soul. Father, with your anointing, I pull down mindsets of false love and false humility that may be working in me in the name of Jesus. I renounce and cast out spirit of lust, uncleanness, fornication, adultery, homosexuality, and pornography. I command this spirit to leave my life right now in the name of Jesus. I pray you heal me from the spirit of rejection and replace it with confidence of your grace. Forgive me for yielding to the emotional pain of bitterness and allowing it to control my life. I choose to repent and humble myself and follow your word and process of complete deliverance. I renounce all forms of church heart that have held me captive from fulfilling your will and purpose in my life. I forgive everyone that has hurt me I forgive any saint that has caused me emotional pain. Lord, 
Help me to fully love again that I may be pleasing to you. Forgive me for my sins, rebellion and anger that I have committed in the church. Help me, Lord, to correct my deceptive perceptions that I have embraced. Precious Holy Spirit, arise in my life. I submit to the process of deliverance. Cause my motives to align themselves with sincerity and a spirit of integrity. Father, create in me a clean heart and renew in me the right spirit. I release the love of God and his healing power over me now. Lord, I believe and release my faith in your word to completely restore and heal my soul. I speak life and prosperity to my soul. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen.